Yamata no Orochi. In the land of Azumo, there lived a terrible eight-headed serpent known as Yamata no Orochi. This monstrous creature had red eyes, a belly that was always bloody, and a length that extended over eight valleys and eight hills. Each year, Orochi demanded a sacrifice from an elderly couple, devouring one of their daughters. The time came when they had only one daughter left, Kushinada Haim. The couple wept in fear of losing their last child. Just then, a brave god named Suzanoo came across the grieving couple. Suzanoo was Amaterasu's brother, and he had been banished from the heavens due to his reckless behavior. He felt pity for the couple and offered to help in exchange for Kushinada Haim's hand in marriage. The couple, desperate to save their daughter, agreed. Suzanoo had a plan. He transformed Kushinada Haim into a comb and hid her safely in his hair. He then instructed the couple to brew sake, a strong rice wine, and to set up eight gates, each with a vat of sake. As expected, Orochi arrived to claim his sacrifice. But instead, he found the sake and started to drink. The creature drank from each vat, one head at a time, until he fell into a deep slumber. Seeing his chance, Suzanoo drew his sword and attacked Orochi, chopping off each head and tail. In the fourth tail, he found a great sword, which he named Kusanagi no Sarugi. Suzanoo then married Kushinada Haim, and they lived happily. He sent the sword he found as an offering to his sister, Amaterasu, hoping to make peace. This sword later became one of the three sacred treasures of Japan. The story of Yamada no Orochi shows the courageous and resourceful side of Suzanoo and gives us a tale of bravery, cleverness, and redemption. The Kusanagi no Tsurugi, or simply Kusanagi, is a legendary sword in Japanese mythology. It's one of the three sacred treasures of Japan. These treasures are symbols of the emperor's authority. The story says that the storm god, Suzano, found the Kusanagi in the tail of a great eight-headed serpent, called Yamata no Orochi. The three sacred treasures are the Kusanagi Sword, the Yata no Kagami Mirror, and the Yasukani no Magatama Jewel. They represent valor, wisdom, and benevolence, which are important virtues in Japanese culture. Each of these treasures is connected to a famous myth and is said to be kept in a different location in Japan, though they're not displayed to the public. In this channel, I would like to share you Japanese stories. To ensure you don't miss any updates about Japanese stories, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment saying, I've subscribed. The White Hair of Anaba. Once upon a time, in the land of Anaba, there was a white hair. The hair was on the island of Oki, but wanted to cross the sea to the mainland. Nearby, there was a group of sharks. The clever hare came up with a plan. He called to the sharks, let's see who has more friends. Line up from here to the mainland, so I can count you. Quote. The sharks agreed and lined up as the hare had suggested. The hare then jumped across them, hopping from shark to shark. When he was almost to the shore, he shouted with joy, I tricked you all. The last shark was furious at being deceived. He lashed out and tore the fur from the hare, leaving him in pain and without his beautiful white coat. On the shore, the hare met the 80 gods who were brothers. They were on their way to propose to Princess Yakami of Anaba. The hare asked them for help, but they only told him to bathe in the sea and dry off in the wind, which made his pain even worse. However, the youngest brother, named Okunanushi, felt pity for the hare. He told the hare to wash in fresh water from the river,
then wrap himself in the soft down of cattails. The hare did as Okunanushi suggested, and his fur grew back, whiter and softer than before. The hare thanked Okunanushi and made a prediction. He said, the 80 brothers will not win Princess Yakumi's heart. But you, Okunanushi, you will marry her. Quote. And just as the hare had predicted, Princess Yakami chose kind Okunanushi over his 80 brothers. They were married, and Okunanushi eventually became a great ruler and a central figure in many other tales of Japanese mythology. As for the hare, his cleverness and the kindness he received became a beloved story, told over and over again as the legend of the white hare of Anaba. The Adventures of Yamato Takaru Once upon a time, in ancient Japan, there was a brave and daring prince named Yamato Takaru. He was the son of the 12th emperor, Keiko. From a young age, Takaru was known for his extraordinary strength and courage. One day, Emperor Keiko ordered Takaru to suppress a rebellious tribe in the eastern regions of Japan. As a gift for his journey, Takaru's aunt, the sun goddess Amaterasu, gave him a holy sword named Kusanagi. With the Kusanagi in his hand, Takaru embarked on his journey to the east. Along the way, he faced many trials and tribulations. He battled fierce beasts and enemy warriors. But with his bravery and the power of the Kusanagi, Takaru always emerged victorious. In one memorable encounter, Takaru was challenged by a great mountain deity disguised as a white boar. After a fierce battle, Takaru managed to defeat the deity and continued his journey. After several months, Takaru finally reached the rebellious tribe. With his leadership and the power of the Kusanagi, Takaru defeated the tribe and restored peace to the region. On his way back to the capital, Takaru stopped at the shore of the sea. There, an evil sea god disguised as a beautiful maiden tried to kill Takaru. But Takaru, sensing the danger, drew his kusanagi and slew the god, who then turned back into a giant sea creature. After this long and perilous journey, Takaru returned home a hero. He was celebrated for his bravery and his deeds were told for generations, inspiring the people of Japan. But Takaru's life was not destined to be a long one. Years later, during another adventure, he was caught in a grass fire set by an enemy. In his final moments, Takaru used the Kusanagi to cut the grass around him, trying to escape the flames. But it was too late, and Takaru died a heroic death. Yamato Takaru's adventures became legends, and he is remembered as one of the greatest heroes in Japanese mythology. His name and deeds continue to live on, inspiring many tales of bravery and heroism. I have mentioned the three sacred treasures and the Kusanagi sword several times in this video. The three sacred artifacts are treasures handed down to successive emperors along with the imperial throne and include a mirror, a sword, and a magatama. The sword came out of the body of Yamada no Orochi, the eight-headed serpent mentioned in this movie, when Suzano defeated him. The mirror and magatama were used to lure Amaterasu Omakami, the sun goddess, out of Iwato when she went into hiding. The mirror is called Yata no Kagami in Japanese, and Magatama is said to be a comma-shaped bead in English. The legend of Amaterasu Omakami's Iwato is explained in other videos. Please see the link in the overview section. The Sword of Kusanagi is housed at Atsuta Shrine Nagoya, Aichi Prefecture. The Yata no Kagami at Ai's Shrine Eyes, Mie Prefecture and the Yasukani no Magatama at the Imperial Palace Chiyoda-ku, 
Tokyo, and even the Emperor. Who has inherited the three sacred objects from generation to generation, cannot directly see them. It is taboo to look directly at the three sacred objects. There is a legend that a samurai lost his eyesight by looking at the three sacred objects in the past. As for the mirrors, there is information that they have deteriorated quite badly. There is a story that the sword of Kusanagi was stolen or destroyed by fire, and what remains today is a replica. This is the end of this story. Click like. Thanks for watching this video. See you next one.